no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net It's not your fault It's really not your fault the United States, more than any other country, has this motto, this theme of personal responsibility, right? You often can't see it, but it's actually tattooed on the bald eagle's ass. Uncle Sam is pointing at you, saying, take responsibility. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Stand up on your own two feet. If you want your bush whacked, you gotta do it yourself. I don't think that's an expression, but it should be. Roughly 28 million Americans can't find work or have stopped looking altogether, and we're told to believe that there's something wrong with 28 million Americans? Are we to believe that there's something wrong with the millions upon millions of homeowners who went into foreclosure after being tricked and deluded, hustled and bamboozled into signing a subprime mortgage? Should we believe it's the fault of tens of thousands of Americans who were foreclosed upon illegally? And I guess we should believe it's the fault of the 60% of all bankrupt companies that went bankrupt due to health care bills. God damn, you add that up and apparently 60 or 70 percent of the American people are fucking losers who don't even try to pull themselves up by their bootstraps. They don't even try to whack their own bushes. And we're in a recovery too, and still you don't have a job? So what is wrong with you? The Dow Jones just hit a record high. The big banks and the insurance companies and the oil companies are doing better than ever. So why aren't you swimming in coins, fucking wiping your ass with dollar bills? If you had any sense in your body, if you were working hard at all, you would be doing great in this time of renewed prosperity. Doing well right now is easier than playing hide and go seek with a heavy breathing obese child. So what the fuck's the matter with you? But the truth is, it's not your fault. For the past 30 years, the wealthy elite have been gutting the system, making it harder and harder to make a living while they've enriched themselves beyond anyone's wildest dreams. There are people who dream of naked leprechauns dancing in chocolate fountains while sodomizing unicorns who could not dream of the amount of wealth amassed in the top 0.1%. But here's the key to the success of their heist. In order to stop you from pointing the finger at them, they had to come up with a myth, an idea, a bullshit motto that anyone who is struggling is doing so because they lack either motivation or personal responsibility. Personal responsibility is a code that really means blame yourselves so that the country doesn't stop to think about how fucked the system is, how rigged unfettered capitalism is, and then justifiably, logically, and rationally blame the ass-faced killers, the millionaire, tax-avoiding, greed-snorting, government-extorting bitches who put us here and then turned around and blamed the victims. It's not your fault. You're struggling because they have pillaged the world, and if you blame yourself it makes it that much easier for them to keep doing it. That's been your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. Some of the facts I just mentioned came from economist Richard Wolff. If you want to help Moment of Clarity continue, send this video around. Also check out the Kickstarter campaign that we just started. It only lasts one month. Click the link here or in the description. Thanks a lot. Keep fighting. No plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretend.